Hello everyone, it's Kelly and I am here for Nail Art Sunday. I asked you guys last week if you wanted it and an overwhelming majority of you said absolutely yes to Nail Art Sunday. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you how to do this manicure. I want to call it a galaxy manicure, but I feel like it's not fully a galaxy manicure. It's almost like pockets of galaxy within a blue manicure. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this was actually heavily inspired by a photo that I saw on Instagram of somebody else's nails. The account was called Hey Nice Nails. I will put a link in the description so you guys can appreciate the original but I thought this was just a really cool way to do a sort of simple galaxy manicure that doesn't take much effort and requires little to no skill so let me show you how I did it so as always I will put links to all the polishes that I used in the description but I am going to be using my Cuccio base coat which I get from HB Beauty Bar and I have a whole discount there. Zoya River which is actually from one of the new polishes. A lot of you guys pointed it out in my haul video and oh my god it's perfect. Zoya Willa which is their black polish and then OPI Alpine Snow which is just a nice white nail polish. Then I'm going to be using my Cuccio top coat and of course I'm going in with some striping tape. For this manicure in particular, you can also use regular tape, but I would just put it against your palm a couple times to get it a little bit less sticky. And I'm going to be using this 24 dance brush from What's Up Nails, but you can also use just a small paintbrush. So I'm gonna start off with my clean natural nail and apply my base coat. And then once that is dry, I'm going to do a couple of coats of that insanely stunning blue. So this was part of their summer collection, which I don't think I'm actually gonna do a full review on because summer is basically over, right guys? Let's, let's get into the fall nail polishes. That's my favorite time of year. But this color is stunning, oh my goodness. So I am going to top it off with some top coat just to protect that from when I put the tape over it. If you put tape over polish that doesn't have top coat on it, it's probably going to peel up a little bit. And I am going to just cut up some pieces of my striping tape, but again, you can use regular tape. And I am going to do a random pattern on each of my nails. So each nail is going to be different and I'm going to do like little triangles of sections and those sections that I have blocked off I am going to paint those black and I'm going to use that little brush but if you're using real tape and not striping tape you can actually just use the bottle brush for this you don't even have to use a little brush so as soon as I am done painting I am going to peel off that tape you do not want to leave the tape on until the polish dries you want to peel that up as soon as possible so that your lines are nice and crisp and then I'm gonna give that a little bit of time to dry I did clean up my cuticles a little bit and then I am going in with my little paintbrush again and the white polish and I'm going to start drawing in my biggest stars first and then I'm going to go in with my smaller stars. So my big stars are going to be like little plus signs and those are just like big twinkling super up close stars. But then I'm actually going to use the same brush and you can also use a toothpick but I was just feeling lazy and I'm going to do like a whole bunch of small stars, medium stars, large stars, just making random dots across. Originally I was gonna do this with a dotting tool, but who wants to go through all the effort of getting a dotting tool and all that stuff, you know what I mean? You can just use a paintbrush. <laughs> or toothpick, like I said, or you can use a pencil. There's so many different options. I actually have a video about DIY dotting tools. If you guys are interested, I'll put that in the cards. But anyway, that's actually the whole design. It's super easy and you just do the same thing on every nail in different spots. And then once it's completely dry, you can go in with your top coat to finish it off and smooth out the design really nicely. So that is it for this manicure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys know I'm obsessed with galaxies, so there will be more galaxy manicures in the future. If you like this one, give it a big old thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe because we do some awesome stuff here. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of it and what you want to see in my next nail art Sunday. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Yes, I have my hand under my chin. It's a thing now.